All right, what's up guys? We're gonna be reviewing, what is this thing? All right, what's up? We're gonna be reviewing this T7 gaming mouse. I've gotten some, uh, some good time on it, so I'm pretty well familiar with it. Um, it's a really good deal on Amazon. I don't know, I got it for like 12 or 13 bucks. Um, it's pretty straightforward, it looks pretty clean. Um, it's got right and left click, scroller, third button, click the scroller. Your DPI uh, settings, you can move them up or down with this. This is up, this is down. You can also change that. And you've got two buttons on your thumb. Uh, this one here and this one here. One's got little, uh, little like dimples in it that pop out, so it's, it's like rough, so you can tell which one's which. Once you start setting up the macro, you are gonna wanna know about this mode switch button. So on the bottom, there's a little button that you hit that mode switches and that goes through three different modes you have on the software to select which kind of macro settings and all, all your settings basically. And then you also have like five profiles. So the mouse itself, uh, I mean, it feels pretty good. I, I played with some other gaming mouses, the more expensive ones, and I can't remember, but this one's kind of got, I mean, the click is a little bit of like a, almost like a sponge, not spongy, it's like a, it's got a kind of a soft, and I don't know if that's typical for the gaming mouses or if that's like what people want. I kind of like more of a, um, less of a sponge and more of just a solid click. My cheaper mouses like my Logitech and stuff, they have kind of just like a instant click and it's not like, there's less travel almost. This one's got, I don't know, a slight bit of travel. I guess maybe just, that's more like a gaming mouse thing. Maybe you want that, but for me, I kind of like uh, less travel on my click. It's super slight, you might not even notice it, um, but I notice it a little bit. Uh, besides that, those mouse have been pretty good. It's nice to be able to change your DPI settings right here um, if you're doing like a first person shooter or something. Okay, so once you plug your mouse into your computer and you wanna get the software, this will only work on PC. Uh, Mac currently doesn't support software. I'll have a link in the description on where to download the software or you can just do T7 Game Mouse software. First click here is their Chinese website. And then I think it just automatically goes to download. Yeah. So then it's a T7 wired gaming mouse driver setup. So you download that. So mine downloaded to the downloads folder and then I just searched T7 and that's right here. This is a .rar file so you can either like ex extract files here, extract files, or you can just open it with uh, WinRAR or whatever you have to open uh, .rar files. And then you're gonna go to autorun.exe, that's the program itself, double click that. And then you can install it right here. I already have it installed so I'm gonna exit out but you install it there. And then once you open it up, this is gonna be your screen. Uh, this is kind of just the basic stuff. The polling rate is, um, it's measured in Hertz, is basically how often the mouse sends data to the computer back and forth. So potentially, I mean, if it's up, the higher it is, basically the more often it sends data, so it should be more accurate and quicker response. Um, theoretically, it uses more CPU. I can't imagine it uses too much, but um, if you have a really slow computer, maybe you could squeeze a little bit more CPU by having this lower. I have it cranked all the way up. I haven't noticed really any difference. This mount sensitivity, this is only if you're not gonna go through your advanced settings. Um, if you just wanna set it up like this, or you can go to Windows and just do it through Windows. Scrolling speed, straightforward, double click. Um, and then here's basically all your buttons on it. You have seven buttons, one, two. So the scroller is also a button. Um, as I showed, and if you actually click, if you actually use that to click on links when you're browsing the web, it'll open that link in a new tab, which is a really nice little quick, quick hotkey deal. Right button, and then six and seven are your DPI. Basically DPI is just uh, your sensitivity, so that's why I say you don't really need to worry about this. Um, you can see it here, six and seven. So six turns your DPI up, and seven turns it down, and um, <clears throat> you can set up how fast or how slow each each setting is and it'll also change the colors the LED lights accordingly we'll get into that in a second four and five are your side buttons those are, you can assign also you can actually assign any of these just by clicking here clicking on it um, 
4 and 5. I'll show you how to set up those. I have those set up as macros. Uh, and then in mode. So basically you can set up different modes. And the way you switch your mode is with that button on the bottom of the mouse that you saw. So it, it just you just press it once and it'll go to mode 2. Press it again, mode 3. Press it again, it'll go to mode 1. It'll just cycle through and you should have to figure out which mode you're on. <clears throat> that was a tricky one for me. I had to email them and figure out. Because I set up mode 2 and for some reason it was never working but they're like oh you have to change the mode but mode switch so change the mode switch on the bottom and you should be able to get to it and you also have different profiles you can set up for different games set up for browsing the web set up for i don't know photoshop however you want to do it and then under advanced this is where you change your basically your dpi for each um each different level so you just drag this over wherever you want it um and then you hit apply once you do once you do anything that you want to save you just hit apply and it will apply it um so basically the slowest you can change these colors too to whatever you want i just left mine on default um but i did bring all these down i didn't need this at 7500 or whatever it was um so when you click through D, your uh your dpi buttons it'll go through the different colors and then it'll also change the speed or the sensitivity of the mouse that's how you can tell which one it's on based on uh, the color of your mouse and then over here you have all the different light settings if you want the brightness my, I have mine on breathing um, I think I just left this pretty much default steady respirate you can do so much different stuff with the lighting the macro buttons I'll show you how I set it up um, it's pretty straightforward so you won't have anything in here basically just do new and then let's say rules for like rules of survival I have one of those on here and then I wanted a button um, I want one of my buttons to be uh, the number five on the keyboard, so I didn't have to go up and hit five. So I hit start record, and then it'll record any keystrokes you do on your uh, keyboard. Um, and then you can assign it to whatever button you want. So I'm gonna just touch five on my keyboard. So I just touched five, and then, so that's five pressed down, 70 milliseconds, and then five pressed up, basically just one stroke. And then once you've put in your whole sequence, whether it's just five or whether it's a whole, you know, a whole word or whatever, whatever you want it to be typed out then you hit stop record and then you have it under rules you can um hit apply I just yeah just keep hitting apply if you're doing something and then you can assign that macro to any basically any of these you want i mean probably i don't know what you're doing but for me i just wanted to assign it to button four so then you go button four and then you go down to macro and then rules so that's the one we set up you hit rules and then you hit apply and then it's it's good to go so for me, to give you ideas, I set up, uh, I'll show you. So I have rules, let's see, rules shoddy. Okay, so I have rules of survival, this is like when I first was doing it. So that's five, and then that's uh, rules of survival shoddy. So I'll show you what, what that means. Let's see, I think that's on mode two, yeah. So my five button on this game, rules of survival, it's first person shooter, my five button, um, selects the number five on my keyboard when I press this button and then four selects my number two button on my keyboard when I press this button basically two uh, switches over to the shotgun so that's how that can be really convenient yeah so then just make sure you're you have it on the, the mode that you want it um, so I have one this is just kind of four I just actually changed this but that should be back so this one's kind of just browsing the web so that the default is just this is back and this is forward when you're on like a web page which is pretty nice and then i set up mode two for this game and mode three for fortnite and then you can also have different profiles and do it all over again so really you have a ton of ton of options for customizing this thing and that's it if you guys like the video subscribe and like it if you have any questions or comments leave them below i will leave a link in the description if you would like to download the software or if you'd like to buy this mouse on Amazon. It is an affiliate link, so it helps support the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace out. If you guys liked anything you saw, hit that subscribe button right away, and I guarantee you the next upload I put up, you're going to love it. And if you don't, you have my full permission to unsubscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.